Hello YouTube. I had to practice my hello to get my throat cleared like three students. Hello, hello, hello. If you ever watch it, you've seen them do it. My RAM. I took a picture of it. 2.4 amps, 150 volt, 15 volts, AC DC, 1000 RPM, RAM 3H drill, RAM Tool Corporation. Chicago, Illinois, Maine, USA. You tell me how old it is, because I have no idea. This, I'm having an original video on this. It's probably, oh my, it's six, seven, eight years ago. And that cap in there holding it. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, we've been just taking the, the heavy duty 3M pad, and it's wore out. You can tell it's not a new one. A lot of muscle work. I have a finger that's killing me. Okay, this hasn't been touched. Let's go over here and give you a look. Okay. This way is kind of horizontal after I went vertical. Okay, if, if you look at this, this is going horizontal this way, right? If you can see it. Don't look at my grungy, dirty hands. We're thinking about trying to flip this. We do are going to do it in an inconspicuous spot. Now, if you look over here where I've just went down, vertical this way, it, you can, if the light's blowing it up, it doesn't have the same, you see more, to see it? Look look towards the top. Look look right up in here as I start playing with it. We, we're not picking it, just a tool. We're going to make another stand like the other one. Remember the little mini buffer? This is a bigger drill, but I can still use the same parts, the same metal clamp. There's a the clamp that went on the back, huh? Yeah, we can, still, we can still use some of the same parts and some of the same boards even though we junked it. We got plenty of MDF so we can saw all day long. Uh, whole saw, I don't know what to do. That's a little under one and three quarters. That's a way bigger hole than the other one's inch and a half. But I just want you to get a look at it now. Of course the battery symbol's flashing. And then we'll come back. That's what it was like. I cleaned off the dirt with some cleaner, but that's all oxidized. And that's what they get like when they just lay around on the shelf. Okay, let's get to work, and then we'll bring it back, uh, give you a good view, and give you a spot where it looks like I'll flitz it somewhere down here and see what it looks like. Okay, here's the tip reason. Those are very hard. I've got some that's not pointy, and they're not as hard. But I also got a little buffer wheel somewhere. Okay, we're going to show you the difference. The flitz is on the right side right in here. Got it cramped in here. Not bad. We're trying to get rid of the marks that we made. And everything. Like out in here, we have to scrub this yet with the scrubby pad first. It's going to dull down after a time, but we're only going to do the main parts that you see, really. We'll do like this, this, you know, and maybe the top. We're not going to do way down every little crevice and everywhere. It's, we don't want to spend all that time. We're just going to do the main parts where you see it. But Okay, we'll bring you back when we're done. You can't see off to the side. You can tell. Yeah, I've got, like I said, I've got some of these that's not pointy, and they're not as hard. These seem to work better, and I'm going very low speed because they'll just sling the polish all over the room, so. Oop, back also, focus. We'll be back. Okay, we just wanted to show you here. I took some sandpaper to that. Because this is what it looks like. See all them scratches? You're not going to polish them out. So I did take some sandpaper. I think it's a hundred good. It is really aggressive. But then I'm taking a brand new scotch pad and taking them out, okay? Then I think it'll polish okay. So it's just a tool. Boy, it's blowing out the camera in here in the light and it's not even polished yet. Thought I'd show you that. Be real careful what you do. I mean, it's, it's not a valuable antique, so I'm just experimenting. Okay, back to work. Okay, this is messy, but I've only used about a nickel size drop 
of polish on this piece of paper right here. So I haven't used as much as you think. Okay, it's not looking too bad around here, okay? We've got a problem here with the switches. We See what that's all very We can't get in there to do that. And because we're trying to go this way. We may have to do that by hand. See how it does not look right at all? We're doing the hard part first. This is the hardest part of the drill. Uh, this is going to be around the variac probably because we got the other controller on the drill press. We're going to do this big flat surface now, which should be very easy. We really are using too small of a polishing thing. But we're going real slow to put the polish on. And then the trick is, we're really speeding it up to get that last final buff. You know, we're getting the polish in there, we're doing the work, we wipe it off once in a while with a paper towel, and we see what work we've done. You know, we're, we're not going for 100% show quality, we just want this thing to look good on the bench. You know, it's there's going to be bad spots, but like that, that's been sandpapered and scrubby pad, so... We'll find out what it looks like. So, back to work. Okay, we're done. We had enough. We got aggressive with this and went everywhere with it. Which is a lot of work, that thing. And then we did a final polish with this. With not a whole lot of polish on it, but... This is original. All on the bottom. Except for the front. Just think about what have spent more time on there with more sandpaper and stuff. Got them gouges out of there. It's blowing out the camera. It's just a drill. I lightly buff that with the fluffy wheel with a little bit of polish. You can oh, can you almost see the paint shine? Pretty nice drill. It really is. Uh, instead of a while, threw some sparks out, but I run a little bit. It was better. But so I'm going to make another bench grinder thing with this one. So thanks for watching. This has the grounded cord on it. I can prove it. See? Modified. Uh, I got to work on the trigger. It doesn't want to stay plugged in. I hit that trigger a couple times. I had to do a little work on that plastic. Okay, we're out of here. Look for the pictures. We'll try to do our best to get some nice ones.